Warning, the following may contain sexual imagery, violence, and strong language. This may create a not safe for work environment. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome at the Mountains of Badness, where I, Nightmare Alpha, present to you the eldritch abominations of literature. Today, we deal with our first entry in this long-running show of madness and insanity, and partially boobs, because why not? People got insane about breasts before, so why not? And breasts it shall be for this outing today. While well, we're starting with High School DxD, created by Ichei Ichibumi, a guy that's name is hard to pronounce, so so excuse me if I'm not always on top of a pronunciation game, because I'm not from Japan, and English isn't my first language either, so well, that will be a fun ride for all people involved. <laughs> Uh, before I lose my motivation here, I shall just start with the backstory of this. So this light novel was created firstly in September of 28 and has been going on for ever since. Now we are dealing with around 20 volumes of light novel today. No, not today, but over the course of the next following months, weeks, years... Eternities, I don't know. Time is warped and pendable at this point, so... The book was quite popular in Japan, for... Uh, I actually don't know why, because I read through the first light novel already, and I don't see the appeal it has to people that actually want to read something good, but... Who am I to tell you that... Tastes are different, and opinions are valid. Because of his popularity, in 2012, the show got an anime adaptation that most of my viewers should be at least partially aware of, if not have seen already. I would not recommend it, but, well, um, actually, I would recommend it. At least over the light novel, but you will see why. Oh, you will see why. Uh, I think I start to try to escape my own duties as of this, because this goes on for really long now, but... Uh, so without further ado, let's now jump into the prologue chapter of High School DxD and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. The same color as that person's hair. That's what I thought while I looked at my hand covered in blood, red, crimson red hair, which is more brilliant than strawberry blonde, apparently. Yes, that person's long, beautiful crimson hair has the same color as the color of my hand is covered in. Life Zero. Hudo Issei, that's my name. My parents and guys at school call me Issei. Yeah, because that's apparently your name, you idiot. I'm a second year high school student who's currently experiencing the time of his youth. Well, you should be as a high school experience your youth, but yeah, uh, yeah, obvious sentences, obvious. Where was a time when a student who'd never met me before said, Isn't that Issei? So I really don't know just how much my name is known to others. I'm unexpectedly popular, you say? No, that isn't the case. After all, I'm so famous for being really lecherous that I even got accused of peeing inside the girl's candle club changing room. Yeah, that's a thing you should be proud of. I won't do such a same shameless thing as peeping into the girl's changing room. I'm sorry, I was at the scene, 
I was in the storage room next to the Kendo Club. I was trying to peep from the hole in the wall in the Kendo Club storage room. So why you're telling us that you would not do something if you would do something? Especially if you're honest? This makes already no sense. Unfortunately, I couldn't have a look. That's because Matsuda and Motohama wouldn't get away from the hole. Seriously, those guys. Yeah, those guys. Mm -hmm. I couldn't calm myself down. I couldn't calm myself down. Then those two idiots said things like, Oh, Moriyama seriously has big tits. And, Oh, Katze sure has li nice legs. Of course, I wanted to have a look, but there are guys approaching the storage room, so I run from the scene. Yes, of course, that's how you deal with that. You're a pretty good pervert, dude. However, something really blissful happened to a guy like me, who would be doing all sorts of perverted stuff every day. Please, go out with me. A confession? From a girl? It felt like it was like to be a youth. Wow, that's a confusing sentence. For a guy like me, who didn't have a girlfriend, it was like a dream come true. The name of my girlfriend is Amano Yuma-chan. She's a girl with silky black hair and a slender body. Of course, bro. Why not? She's so cute that I fell in love with her at the first sight. Dude, if a table would have confessed to you, you would be like, Oh, that's the cutest table in the world, brah. Uh, okay. Won't you say okay right away if some beauty comes up to you and says, Hyudo kun I'm, I love you. Please go out with me. Uh, yes, I would, but only if I had no girlfriend, you know. But eh, that's besides the point. Let's return to the story. That will be like something out of a dream for a guy like me. Those ages equal the number of years he didn't have a girlfriend. Oh man, going to the otaku crowd already, right? A miracle certainly did occur. I was confessed to from a beautiful girl. Yes, we know this already. I actually thought it was a prank. I even thought several times that it was the result of a penalty game that her friends were looking at us from elsewhere. Yeah, because that's a thing, apparently. It can't be helped until then. I believe that I was a guy born to be unpopular with girls. That's a shit sentence structure. But ever since the day I became a guy with a girlfriend, the world around changed me. I don't know how to explain it, but my heart was at peace. I wanted to say, it's my win to every guy I walked past. Mm -hmm. I started to feel sorry for my two buddies, Matsumada and Motohama, who didn't have a girlfriend. That's how confident I became. On our first date, after we started dating, wait, okay, that's a strange sentence, I was ready to use a plan I made a while ago. Foo foo! I brushed my teeth dozens of times since yesterday night. There is not a single place I missed. I even bought new pants. You can't tell what will happen after all. Oh god, he is prepared to have sex. That will not go well. I arrived to the date spot with the attitude of a super virgin guy. Oh, as you couldn't already tell he was a virgin. I arrived at the meeting spot three hours before Yuma-chan did, oh god. I did count it up to a hundred girls who wore glasses walking past from, from me. Okay, so he has a thing for glasses, that will be disappointing for him. During that time, I received a suspicious leaflet from a weird person handing, handling out leaflets. Okay, it was weird, so... It was an occult-looking thing with a mere weird magic cycle and a sentence. Your dream will be granted, written. Oh god, the last time I see this occult erupted. I want to throw it away, but I decided to put it into my pocket, since I can't throw it away right now. Oh yes, of course you can. It's called recycling and we all have to do it. Or not, I don't know. Then Yuma-chan arrived. I said this. 
me in a minute, have to set up my player voice. Don't worry, I also just got here. Bullseye! I was able to say it! I always wanted to say that! Wow, well, yeah, that's a thing we all want to say at one point, that we just arrived shortly before another person. Yeah, yeah, that's totally important. Then we walked while holding hands. I was really touched. To have a date while holding hands with my beautiful girlfriend? Yeah, that's touching, bro. I did that a million times. I was so moved that I was about to burst into tears. Come on, be not so melodramatic. I shouldn't rush it. It's not the time to panic yet. Yet? After that, we enjoyed our date by going to a clothing store and having a look at decorations for our rooms. Yeah, that's definitely a date thing. For lunch, we ate at a family restaurant, just like how normal high school students would. And Yuma-chan was eating her chocolate parfait deliciously. My stomach was full just by looking at her. I think you're talking about another part of your body, but okay. Yeah, I felt as if I understood how other teenagers felt when they go on a date. I felt as if I was alive for a first time. Oh man, God. Undead? No good. Mom! Thanks for giving birth to me. Dad, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to continue our family line, but it looks like you don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh god, getting melodramatic already. As I was thinking about all those sorts of things, I was all it was already afternoon. It's the climax. Oh no, he will explode. Kiss? A kiss before going home? Yeah, that's climax. My head got hyped just by thinking about that. Oh, maybe we will go even further. Uh, don't rush it, bro. Don't rush it. That is why people fail at dates. That's what a horny male high school student like me is thinking. Yeah, I totally can dig that. We are at the park that is away from the town. There is no sign of people and no one is here besides us. Thanks to that, my erotic imagination's building up. What? Looks like we're just missing a sentence here. Okay, moving on. I should have read a book that teaches you to do even more naughty stuff. No, no bro, no, that is not helpful at all. Yuma-chan already let go of my hand and she's standing before the fountain. It was nothing a sentence of a fountain telling me, but okay, he's too horny to make some assumptions like that. We are the audience, do not know that there is a fountain, but okay. It sure was fun today, Yuma-chan smiles while having the fountain behind her. Yeah, the fountain again. Cute, she's cute. The sunset, which behind her gave her a good atmosphere. Hey, it's Aikun. What is it, Yuma-chan? There is something I want to do to celebrate our first date. Can you listen to my wish? Oh yeah, it's here. This is it. This must be it. The smell of my breath checked. My mental preparedness? Hmm, my heart is beating so fast. What is it? The wish you want? Ah, uh, the tone of my voice is deep. No, it's not. She will find out that I'm thinking of something idiotic. I made the dumbest mistake after coming this far. But Yuma-chan just smiles at me. She then says to me clearly, Will you die for me? Uh, what was that? Uh, that's, uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? I think there was something wrong with my ears. I must have heard it wrong. That's what I thought. That must be it. So I ask her again, but will you die for me? She clearly says it to me again while laughing. I should include laughing, but eh, no. Her words didn't make any sense. The moment I was about to say, that's so funny, Yuma-chan, with a smile, flap. Black wings spread from her back. Oh, that's what flap sound. She then starts to flap her wings. The black feathers float in the air and then drop to, down to my face. What is that? Uh, certainly Yuma-chan is cute like an angel, but... 
Angel? No, there is no way that can't be true. Uh, you know, this is a book called High School DxD. I think there should be something about angels in that or not. Is it some kind of acting? No, that you would actually have to take care of, you know, acting and stuff. My beautiful girlfriend, who's flapping her wings while the sun sets behind her. It looks like a scene from a fantasy story. Oh, now we're doing that, okay, okay. But here is no way I can believe something like this. Her cute looking eyes change into cold, scary eyes. It was fun, the short time I spent with you. It was like playing house with a little child. Huma-chan's voice sounds very cold. Her tone is like an adult. Her mouth is forming a cold smile. Buzz! A sound much heavier than the noise that a game console makes vibrates in the air. Yeah, we needed a game console reference here. Yes, that's, that's what makes buzzing sounds. It's making a lot of buzzing noises, and it appears in her hand. What? It looks like a spear. Oh, that you mean. It's glowing. It seems like a bulk of light or something. Actually, it is a spear. Yeah, you sh said it's like a spear. Oh god, I want to spear you already. Hmm. The sound of a wind, a nasty noise follows after it. Dun. Dun is a nasty sound? Okay. Uh, that's, that's weird. The moment I thought something gazed my stomach, the spear which was in Yuma's hand pierces my stomach. Yeah, that's a nice sentence structure. She threw it that at me, but rather than that, why? I tried to pull the spear out of my hand and out of me, but it disappears. The only thing left was a huge hole in my stomach and blood which was flowing out from it. Blood. Blood! Yeah, blood. I get this. My head got dizzy. My eyesight became blurry. I was already lying on the ground, and by the time I realized it, my legs lost their balance. Wait, I thought you were already on the ground. Why? Why? What? That makes no sense. Footsteps close in on me while I'm going to the ground. A small voice vaguely reaches me. It's you, Machan. Sorry. You were a threat to us, so we decided to get rid of you early. If you want to hold a grudge, then hate the god who put the sacred gear inside you. Sacred what? I can't even ask her a question, and I'm in the state where I'm down on the ground, her footsteps getting further away from me. At the same time, I started to use my, lose my consciousness, the hole in my stomach. It must be fatal. I don't feel any pain. Oh, I feel pain, you can tell. But I realized that I was in a serious bad condition because I could feel that I was about to lose consciousness. It must feel nice if I lose consciousness now, as if I'm going to sleep. But if that happens, I will certainly die. No shit, bro. Are you serious? I'm going to die at this age? Yeah. Go to Africa and see the child dying at age five or so. I haven't even lived half of my life yet. Yeah, it's not so fun as you think it is. How can I laugh if I die because I was stabbed by my girlfriend at this weird park? Now it's a weird park, okay. Phew, my consciousness starts to fade away while I was having such thoughts. It feels like many things inside me are disappearing. Oh yeah, I wonder what's going to happen at school tomorrow. Will Matsumada and Motomahama be shocked? Will they cry for me? No way. Not them. Mom. Dad. I haven't done anything to please them yet as their child. You don't have to please them. Just live a normal life, idiot. Rather, it's not going to be funny if they find those porn magazines I was secretly hiding behind after my death. Yeah, that's, that's a thing you have to take care of. That you're... Parents don't find your porn stash. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Why the heck I'm thinking of these kinds of things when I'm about to die? Because you're an idiot. My hands can't still move. I touched my stomach and brought it in front of me. It's red. Crimson red. It's my blood. My whole hand is red. 
It's all my blood. <laughs> then she came into my mind. The one who I'm imagined is that one girl, the beauty with the crimson hair. Every time I saw her, my eyes were drawn to her crimson hair. Yeah, I know, crimson. Crimson is a nice color, you know. If I was going to die, I wished it was inside her arms of that beautiful girl like that. Okay. I started to feel like I am cheating on my girlfriend, Yuma-chan, because I'm having these thoughts. Hold on, that Yuma-chan was the one who killed me. But if I was to die, I want to die after groping Yuma-chan's opai. Uh, first note, opai stands for breasts, I guess. Oh god. <laughs> my perverted illusions don't stop even before I die. Yeah, that's why. Ah, uh, my eyes got even more blurry. Oh, no shit, bro. It's finally the end for me? Damn, it was really a boring life. If I was to be reborn, I want to be... So, you were the one who called me? Suddenly, someone appears in front of me as she talks to me. I can tell who she is. My eyes are so blurry. Looks like you are dying. Your wound, oh my, looks like something interesting is happening to you. So it's you. This truly is interesting. She's laughing as if she found something interesting. Yeah, she already told you that you're interesting, idiot. I wonder what's so funny. If you are dying, then I'll pick you up. Your life, that is. From now, you will live for me. Oh, having a guns reference here, or what? Before I lose consciousness, I saw a brilliant crimson hair in front of me. Oh god, it's a crimson overload. And that concludes the prologue chapter of High School DxD. I hope you had as much fun as I had, certainly. As always, my analysis will be at the end of the volume of this light novel, so we will continue that. But as of the commentary, you already know what I think about some of this stuff here. So what's the lesson learned in this chapter? Well, the lesson that a lot of role players know, the girl comes up to you, tells you that she loves you, you're in deep shit. So yeah, up until the next Crimson Overload, I was Nightmare Alpha for you at the Mountains of Badness, and I hope you join me again to the next chapter of High School DxD.